On Representative Lee tells me she was in her office watching Senator Langford speak when she saw protesters break into the Senate floor. She said it was a horrifying visual to watch. Her and her team evacuated safely. She said when violence is involved, it's damaging to all of us. This was more than a peaceful protest. This was more than rioting. This was a violent extremism. Congresswoman Susie Lee was inside her office when protesters smashed their windows and doors into the Capitol building. We talked to the Southern Nevada representative on the phone while she sheltered in place. Right now, I think I'm I think a lot of us are in shock. Representative Lee said it was a long day where they not only evacuated when protesters stormed in, but suspicious devices were found in the area. I would be lying if I said I wasn't disturbed by what was going on. I mean, there were times where we were evacuated. Uh, there were suspicious um, devices that were found on the Capitol complex. Representative Lee said the violence that transpired was a fear she had in the back of her mind, planted several times from the president's rhetoric. Basically, the president and his allies uh, fueled the flame of this. My colleagues, you know, Louis Gohmert, who's a representative who tweeted out just a few days ago, basically calling people uh, to violence. I find that incredibly irresponsible. She said having to defend election results, including Nevada's election, has only prolonged other work from getting done. And meanwhile, at the same time, you know, the president's there tweeting that the, you know, the election was stolen. He could be taking that time and using his executive authority and implementing the Defense Production Act to increase the protection of the vaccine and the rollout of the vaccine. Representative Lee spoke with Fox 5 on the phone, then on Zoom tonight, both times saying she won't let protesters intimidate her from getting the work done. So to me, spending an entire day going through what I term as political theater, you know, when we know that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will be certified at the end of today and they will be sworn in in 14 days. And I look forward to it. I look forward to getting to work with them. Representative Lee said we have a lot of work to do in this country to rebuild. Reporting from the Update Desk, Lauren Martinez, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.